Hello and welcome to Lisona Crochet. In this place, we are not just crocheting, we are also enjoying and having fun because, because this is a place of love. And in this video, we're gonna learn how to make this amazing vintage top. Very good for beginners. It is working up very fast, very simple to crochet. You can wear it at the beach. You can crochet it in different colors. It is very light. It is worked with cotton yarn. I'm gonna show you in a moment. This is just a part one of uh, two parts. Part two is gonna be released in a few days. Hit the notification button in this way. You will get notified when part two is here and also when other free patterns they are gonna be released. Two times a week, I post uh, video patterns, tutorials, tips and tricks, giveaways, color combinations, winners for the giveaways. So subscribe, hit the notification button, and tell me in the comments section what other type of projects do you want to see here on the channel. Because I, I have 25 years of experience with crochet, so I can design a lot of uh, various things. Okay, now let's get started. So let's get started. This is the yarn I'm gonna use for this project. Elisabella Batik Design 100% cotton. We have here in the back all the details. We have here the type of crochet hook we're gonna need. It says from one to three. You can see here the color for one five one. If you need any extra details, leave a comment in the comment section and I will tell you more details about my eye. And we're gonna use one millimeter crochet hook for this project. I tried this uh, project with two millimeter crochet hook, but uh, there were too many holes, like you see in this picture, and uh, I switched to one millimeter crochet hook. So, to get started, we're gonna start with a foundation of 40 foundation half double crochet foundation half double crochet okay so this is not a chain like we normally do i will show you here with another yarn that is a little thicker so you can see what i'm doing how i'm working the foundation so this is how you work foundation half double crochet you chain three Take uh, the yarn over the hook, go into the first chain, take a loop out like we do a half double crochet, but instead of now finishing the half double crochet, instead I'll just take the yarn and pull it only through the first loop, like I'm working a chain. And now I have three loops on my hook. I will take the yarn and pull through all three of them. This is one. Now let's work the second one. I take the yarn over my hook. I go in that chain that we created. So the first here, the chain that I'll go behind like this. And I take a loop out. I have three loops. I take the yarn. I pull it only through the first loop like this I take the yarn and I pull it through all three now I have two two half double crochet or two chains however you want to call it but I have two let's make a third one so I take the yarn 
and they go to the chain that I just created in the back. I take a loop out with the first loop that I have here, this one. I will create a chain, so I take the yarn and pull it out. And basically here, this is the chain that I'm just creating, okay? And I take the yarn and I pull it through all three. And this is how we make the foundation half double crochet. So for the project that we are working on, we're gonna do 50 foundation half double crochet. So as I showed you, I chain three. I go into the first stitch, take a loop. I have three loops over my hook. Now I take the yarn and pull it through the first one only. I take the yarn, pull it through all three. Yarn over the hook, I go in that chain that I just created. Take it out. Take the yarn, pull it through only the first loop to create a chain. Take the yarn, Pull it roll three to create the half double crochet. And again, take the yarn, go in inside in the back of that chain. In the back loop, I mean, when I see in the back, because it will look much better if you go in the back loop. Now I take the yarn and I pull it only through the first loop. Take the yarn and pull it through all loops. I created three. We work for the half double crochet. Let's go. So I did 40 foundation half double crochet. And this is how I am right now. I will chain one normal chain and I turn. And this is where I will work all the stitches on this side. And I will work half double crochet until the end of the row in a total of 40 half double crochet. So I did 40 half double crochet. Now I will chain one, turn, and I will work another 40. So we need basically five rows like this. Over here, I will add you everything you have to do. So we're gonna work five rows like this. Row one, two, three, four, five. It's gonna be only half double crochet. Let's go. So I finished my five rows of half double crochet. And now I will chain three. And now I will chain three, turn, skip the first two stitches, and in the next one we work five double crochet, not half, double crochet. So I skip two in the third one, I work five in the same stitch. One, two, three, four, and five. Now I will skip four, one, two, three, four, 
and in the fifth one I will work another five double crochet in the same stitch Keep four, one, two, three, four, and the fifth one again, and we continue like this. We skip four in the fifth one, we work five double crochet in the same stitch. Now I will do my last cluster, so I skip 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, I skip 4, sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4, and the fifth one, I work 5, double crochet, In the last stitch from the row, I work directly, so I skip two basically, I skip two, and in the last stitch, I work one double crochet, like this, and I will chain four, like this, and turn, see how pretty it looks, superb! Now we're gonna work together 5 double crochet. I don't mean me and you together, but them, the 5 double crochet, work together. And we work like this. I will go to this first double crochet that I have, not this one, with the chain. This one is with the chain, okay? The first one from the cluster. I will... I have a yarn over my hook. And I go in the first double crochet from that cluster and I take a loop out. I take the yarn and I pull it only through the first two loops, not all of them. Now I take yarn over my hook and I go to the next double crochet from the, this cluster. And I take a loop out. I take the yarn and I pull only through two. Now I have three loops over my hook, I leave them there. Yarn over my hook, I go in the third double crochet from this cluster, I take a loop out, I take the yarn and I pull it through only two. I have four loops now. Yarn over the hook, go in the fourth double crochet, take the yarn, pull only through two. Yarn over the hook, go in the fifth double crochet take the yarn pull only through two now I have six loops over my hook and I take the yarn and I pull through all of them like this and I will chain four one two three and four now I do the same to the next cluster, so I take yarn over my hook, I go into the first double crochet from this stitch, I take the yarn, pull it through two, and I leave it like this, yarn over my hook, go to the second double crochet, take the yarn out, take the yarn and pull it through two, three loops over my hook. Yarn over my hook, go inside the third double crochet, take the yarn and pull it only through two. I have four loops over my hook. Take the yarn over my hook, go into the fourth one, pull it through two, yarn over my hook, go in the fifth one and pull it through two and now pull it through all of them and chain four.
again. And we continue like this until the end. And here we meet, so I'll show you how you do the ending. I will chain only two this time, not four, and I will work a double crochet in the top of this chain three. Just a normal double crochet, like this. So I just chain two and I work a double crochet over here. Now I will chain one and I turn. See how pretty it looks, superb! Now I will work 40 double crochet until the end of the row. So I did 40 double crochet, I will chain one, I will turn and we're gonna work half double crochet, chain one, turn until we get to row 72. At row 72 we stop and we go back to this video but before you go I want to talk a little with you while we crochet on this you do it with me and I wanted to share a little of my thoughts the repetition of the stitches is said to stimulate the production of serotonin the brain's feel good chemical that helps boost your mood and that's not all the simple act of choosing colors and patterns can be a decision-making task that might be the big victory on a difficult day. Plus, having a go-to project brings a sense of purpose and achievement. Through the ages, people have found that sitting and becoming mindful of our thoughts and feelings is good for our mind, body and spirit. If you have a difficult time sitting and becoming quiet in your mind, so it is a perfect tool to achieve this state of mindfulness. The benefits of meditation and the benefits of crocheting are quite similar. People shared how crochet has helped them during a difficult time. A study done about crocheting has proven that fiber arts have many benefits to our health and well-being. Crochet is actually a magical combination of mindfulness, repetition, focus, creativity, and movement, and productivity. Depression relief is by far the most important and study benefit of crocheting. The repetition of the craft has been shown to release serotonin, a natural antidepressant. The simple act of choosing colors and patterns can be a decision-making task that might be a big victory on a difficult day. Plus, having a go-to project brings about a sense of purpose and achievement. Through the ages, people have found that sitting and becoming mindful of our thoughts and feelings is good for our mind, body, and spirit. If you have a difficult time, sitting and quieting your mind, crochet is the perfect tool to achieve this state of mindfulness. The benefits of meditation and the benefits of crocheting are quite similar. Crochet is actually a magical combination 
of mindfulness, repetition, focus, creativity, and hand movement. People shared how crocheting helped them in during difficult times. The repetition of the stitches is said to stimulate production of serotonin. The brains feel good chemical that helps boost your mood. Depression relief is by far the most reported and studied benefit of crochet and knitting. Crochet has the power to carry you through depression, smooth anxiety, and give you a much needed boost in confidence. I have 70 rows now. And uh, let's continue this pattern. On the next row, we're gonna chain 3. We skip 2 chains, 2 stitches. And in the third one, we do 5 double crochet. Skip 4 stitches in the 5th one, work 5 double crochet. Skip 4 in the 5th one, 5 double crochet and continue like this until the end of the row. This is my last cluster. Now skip 2 stitches and work 1 double crochet in the last stitch. And we chain 4. Now we're gonna work like we did on the other side in the beginning when we worked. We did 5 double crochet and join together at the top. This is exactly what we're gonna do now. So I'll show you again. So take the yarn over the hook, go into the first double crochet, take the yarn, pull the yarn only through two loops, yarn over the hook, go into the second double crochet, Take the yarn out, and pull the yarn through two loops only. I have three loops over my hook now. Yarn over the hook, go into the double crochet, and pull the yarn only through two loops. I have four loops over my hook now. Yarn over the hook, go in the double crochet. Take the yarn, pull it through two loops. I have five loops over my hook. Yarn over the hook, go in through the last double crochet. Pull it through two loops. I have six loops over my hook now. And I take the yarn and I pull it through all of them. And I chain four. And we're gonna do this for each cluster. So I will show you again. So I take yarn over the hook. I go into the first double crochet. I take the yarn and I pull it through two loops only. I have two loops left on my hook. Take the yarn over, go to the next double crochet. Take the yarn, pull it through two loops only. 
I have three loops on my hook. Yarn over, going to the fourth one, in the third one, sorry, in the third double crochet. Pull the yarn through two loops only. I have four loops over my hook, going to the fourth double crochet, pull to through two loops only. I have five loops over my hook. And now in the last one, and two loops, and now to all of them and chain four. And continue like this until the end of the row. I did my last cluster, five double crochet together. Now after the last one, we're gonna chain two. And in the very last double crochet that I have here from previous row, we're gonna work another double crochet. And chain one and return. Now we're gonna work one half double crochet in each stitch until the end of the row. Where we're gonna chain one and we're gonna continue working half double crochet rows until we get to five rows in total from this point and we meet there at the end so i finished the five rows and now i will chain one and over here i will cut the yarn And take it out and this is the body of the top this is how it looks until now the colors especially they are very very nice on this type of yarn so now we're gonna go on one of the corners, you choose, doesn't even matter. And we're gonna attach the yarn in one of the corners. I will attach it to this one. To the very, very, very first half double crochet, I will attach the yarn here. And I will chain two. Like this. I will work a hard double crochet in the same stitch and we're gonna work hard double crochet all across until the end a total of 135 hard double crochet so we work on this side not like we did uh, until now we go on the long side until you have 135 half double crochet So I worked 135 half double crochet across this side as you can see I'm at the end now in the last stitch I will chain one I will turn and we're gonna work two more rows of only half double crochet so this one and one more, three in total on this side. Let's go. I finished the three rows on this side. I'm at the end of the row now, over here. I will chain three, turn, 
pattern. Now we're gonna change the pattern a little. We're gonna skip two. And in the third one, we're gonna work two double crochet. Chain one and two double crochet in the same stitch. Now we're gonna skip four. In the fifth one, we're gonna do the same. Two double crochet, chain one, and two double crochet in the same stitch. Again, skip four, and in the fifth one, two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet, and we continue like this until the end of the row. I'm at the end of the row. And now I will skip two stitches and then I will do one double crochet and another in the last stitch and I will chain three. I will chain three. Okay? So I finished the row, I just skip two and I did two double crochet and chain three. Now we turn. I will do one double crochet in the second double crochet because the chain three will count as a double crochet for this one. So for this one I will do a double crochet. And now I will go in the middle space of this cluster and I will work in this space to double crochet chain one and two double crochet Now I move to the next space. So the space I am in the chain one space that we have here in the middle. If you push it a little, you can see this uh, in the middle. So not the big space that it is between them, but this one over here. Okay, so we do again two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet. Then we move to the next space and we do two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet, and so on until we get to the end of the row. And we are gonna meet there. I did the two rows like this. Now I'm at the end of the row, I just did the last cluster. And over here, I will go in the first double crochet that I have and I will do a double crochet. Now I chain one and we cut this tail. gonna wave it inside but first let's take it out like this
like this. And now we're gonna move to the next stage. So this is the end of part one. This is what we have until now. And we just created the body and the bottom edge in the part one. In part two, we're gonna create the shoulder straps, the back straps and the front straps. You can understand everything, all these details in part two. You have everything there and hit the notification button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment with what type of project you want to see on the Lesona Crochet channel and see you in part two. Bye!